hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's as well as possible and um, today i'm going to be doing a budget travel uh, special exciting facts uh, this is uh, from a little adrift dot com and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so i really appreciate it um so i'm going to kick off with uh, number one uh, question and um, how much does it cost uh, traveling the single bis biggest factor is impacting on your trip or holiday is the length and your destination or destinations and um, if it's more than one there is also a number of things that impact on long-term travel budget and it it can be different uh, for a two week holiday or one week and it is uh, very different than a two week or one week European vacation or um, a one or a two week vacation in your own country and um, if you're doing long term travelling um, the, the costs rack up so much than just taking one or two weeks out um, uh, for a holiday uh, to go somewhere um, estimates vary are varied widely uh, you can um, track the money that you're spending uh, while traveling and um, on holiday um, obviously if you've got um, a bank account and you can also do it um, with the phone and um, obviously um, if there's not a price and ask how much um, things cost uh, before you decide to commit to buy and uh, number two how much does travelling the world cost if you want to go on a year long world trip then it's generally at least uh, 20,000 US dollars or 20,000 um, pounds is the baseline uh, cost uh, for your trip around the world for one person for a year it work that works out about 50 pounds or 50 dollars in the USA a day on the road and allows for an additional budget um, for flights and vaccines uh, you will um, if you need them uh, you will also uh, spend up to 30,000 or um, 30,000 pounds or 30,000 USA dollars uh, for a budget trip that includes fewer hostels and more upscale accommodation transport and food and if you are a couple or a group or a family and does not di uh, directly mean do uh, double or triple etc etc because you can split the cost between you and um, who's in the group so because lodgings and transport it can be shared expenses as well as food really that, uh, that can be shared expenses and um, if you're looking at mid-range budget and luxury a world traveler it can run up to as much as uh, 50,000 USA dollars or 50,000 pounds um, or much more in a year it, it really depends on um, the style of your accommodation if you're um, 
going for the budget option then it's a you foster but um obviously if you're wanting a hotel um it really depends what, whether it's basic or mid-range um or luxury um and obviously luxury is going to cost a lot more than um a basic or mid mid-range hotel so think of it like this um you want two stars obviously accommodation whether it's hotel or self-catering um, is obviously the budget your three star is your mid-range and your four and your five star um, hotels are your luxury and a lot more expensive um, hotels etc um, number three if you are new to uh, personal finance or lost about having to start saving for um, a, a big goal then you can buy a travel guide um, in shops or uh, sort of waterstones in here in the UK or WH Smith um, Amazon King uh, Kindle uh, or a PDF bundle um with a, a budget book um so yes you can get lots of budget travel guides advising you um and um i've got them as well um and i read up about them and that's why I, I like to share this content with you and um, because i'm very passionate about it and um, i hope it could save you money uh, while on holiday or traveling and um number four um always whether you're going on holiday or um or traveling in general decide your route before and and at speed um that's whether you're planning on a holiday um day trip or around the world trip and um, just decide your route transport that takes longer to get to your destination is lower and it will lower the cost um, obviously it will take more time out of your holiday vacation or trip but it costs a lot lower than and you can also uh, minimize the number of flights needed uh, for vacations um, or trips away last but not least um, to save money on your trip and um, consider uh, getting um, travel insurance definitely and um also visiting a fewer places um basically um you need to work with your budget so um if it's somewhere um a especially um if it's like a main attraction to a town or city um or a, a country one of the tourist hot spots then it will cost you a lot more and um, it's going to also be a lot more crowded than uh, somewhere say out in the countryside or off the beaten track so i would like to say thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow with my travel and my lifestyle channels updates improvements and more so please keep watching and have a nice weekend thank you bye